Yo, what's up, Psycho Fam? It's your boy DC. Okay, it's your boy. Mr. Dan. The cyclist, yes. We are back. I did not forget about y'all. I gotta catch y'all up, man. So much has happened. Um, we're gonna talk about One Love, Back One Love weekend. It's like a celebration for all cyclists. Man, did my heart rate strap just loosen up? Hold up, we'll be back. <laughs> Okay, let's try again. <laughs> My heart rate strap just like undid itself. I felt it. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna talk about One Love. We're gonna talk about um, the One Love post ride. On the One Love post ride, I went down, went down pretty bad. Um, I've been hit by a car before, and I must say, like, this accident had to have been the worst. Like, the amount of pain, recovery time, doctor visits. It was rough, man, but I'm gonna play some uh, footage from the uh, One Love. We're gonna start off with the Thursday ride, the Thirsty Tango. Ton of fun, man. Ton of fun. It was fast. Everybody was out. Different states. Hell, different countries. Everyone flew into Atlanta to play bikes. Everybody flew into Atlanta to show everything they got. All that hard work everything they show on social media it was dope it was dope seeing everybody man like seeing tay seeing a bunch of people man it was dope be able to run some footage of that and we'll be back one level three guys one two three one one level! Level! All right. <laughs> For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stunt for you. For the record, live on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, yeah. For the, for the record, for the record, for the record, for the record, for the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. I got a up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. A6 all the hay. I won't get a ball today. Got lost in the ball and age. I'm flipping the balls. I'm flipping the, flipping the, flipping the. All record, off record. I still count wins when they got it. All record, off record. I let them take advantage. I was wildin'. All record, off record deals. Tell them talk the column for the quote. All record, off record. I still want the act, not the ghost. Running through it with the young and blooming. Tell the less impressions. I'm succumbing to it. I've been giving yeses when I shouldn't do it. I complete ejected, but the moves are loose and I'm barely moving, but I'm still gon' boost them. I can't work on winners when I know you're losing, so I put the winners and they throw the deuces. Guess I have to pivot, shooting the bazookas for the facts. I need racks, paper, cash, fuck a tax. That's a joke, tell them laugh. Uncle Sam, fuck out the bag. Roll the plot, but get a whack. Contract, give me the max. I got lab on my back. You ain't that, then it's whoa, 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 whoa. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you. For the record. Lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, yeah. for the for the record. So that was uh, Thirsty Tango. Y'all saw it. your boy was first to the train tracks. Big deal, that's a big deal, man. Cause like, I do a lot of stuff on social media, um, especially on Instagram. And I, I don't, I'm not flexing, man. Like, I don't post stuff, I don't try to boast like, I'm the fastest thing ever, I'm the strongest rider. I don't do that. I just love to create content. Um, I want y'all to see the journey of me just becoming from coming from like a average cyclist to a really strong cyclist. Like everybody's on the same track, same journey. So I just want to share it, you know. But uh, Thirsty Tango was a flex. That was a flex. It felt good. It's crazy, like listening to everybody. Man, y'all call these hills? Y'all call these hills in Atlanta, man? 
She said, he was, man, I drove eight hours for this. I was like, man, wait till we get to the flat. Man, as soon as we got to the flat, all the people that was chirping on the hills belonged straight out the back. <laughs> but I say it was fun, man. Good, friendly competition. Uh, I believe we averaged like 24 miles per hour. Solid, man. That's like almost it's a legit road race, man. So it was cool. I wanted to do so much of the, the One Love. The race team was out there to represent. Y'all won't believe that the day of the One Love Century, the race team is all lined up. I'm getting excited, pulling my bike out the car, getting it set up. Little did I know, my through axle that I left on the roof of my car that morning fell off. It fell off the car. <laughs> it fell off the car, and that was all she wrote, man. I can't ride one less entry. I was bummed. We did, as y'all can see, we did the, uh, the pre-ride, but then that happened and I was just bummed, man. I was just like, I can't believe this. I can't, I can't ride with the race team. I can't, I can't, can't line up. I was hurt, man. Like, it was really tough. So I went back home and uh, I picked up the second bike. So I had bought the Super 6 with me for the uh, One Love Century. And I picked up the second bike, the Cat 9. And I was like, all right, I really wanted the miles. I really wanted to ride. So let me just go ahead and ride anyway. I don't live too far from the start point. I think it was about 12 miles. And I wanted to kind of ride that area. And I just found myself back down by the One Love Century anyway. So I just went ahead and rode it. Like, I rode like the first bit of it, like 30 miles. I finished the day with like 65. It was cool. I got to see uh, QRT and K KRT. Uh, Kings rule together and Queens rule together. Uh, love what they're doing, man. Beautiful squad. They, they look like good family. I know if I lived out in Virginia, I'd definitely be riding with them. Fast forward, and we're gonna get to the post ride, which is Sunday after the One Love Century. And we're gonna talk about that. I'll we'll show y'all some highlights from that. Everyone that showed up, big crowd, of course. I missed the fish fry, and I had to work out that Friday. Um, but we're gonna talk about Sunday. about that we're averaging 26 miles per hour guys we're going out 29 averaging 26 miles per hour it was crazy so on the uh, turnaround trip we came back same thing same intensity now it's a turnaround trip so everyone's a little bit more spicy we stopped at the gas station and, you know kind of have to ease into it but it got to the point where it's like almost a pace line uh up front and I'm normally trying to stay front, front middle, front middle to uh, at least get a draft, get some rest, and move to the front to get in action a little bit, you know? Um, that day the weather was questionable, and across the highway, uh, we did have a little rain cloud pass by. We didn't actually get caught in the rain, but the road was wet. So, once we hit that little spot, we're blazing, 
and there was like a, a group off the front that broke away, so everyone's chasing that group. Once you got to that group, slow down exponentially. Bro, I was caught in a bad place. I had nowhere to go, really. Like, I was right in that little front middle pack, but I was like right there in the middle. It slowed down really fast. I hit this white line that was wet. My front wheel was a little squirrely. I was like, okay, I saved a little bit. Caught somebody else's wheel, I go down. And then after I go down, I'm curled up, clenching for my life. Cause I know everyone is about to run over me. Like, someone ran over me, caused my body to do this like fold motion. So I bruised my rib, pulled my lower back, and uh, hurt my knee really bad. So, we, we gonna talk about my knee. Cause that has its own story in itself. Uh, a lot of misdiagnosing when I went to the doctors. Uh, went to the emergency room, so on and so forth. So we'll get into that. So yeah, after uh, after going down, I knew something wasn't right. So I went ahead and uh, we had a sad car. Come to pick up everyone out that just went to the emergency room. Uh, some people didn't make off too well. Some bikes didn't make off too well. Um, my bike had a event the. Uh, Chain ring, the chain ring, the chain ring was bad a little bit. Uh, I ain't find this out till later. later. Uh, but I went to the emergency room. They did x-rays, a um, whole lot of pain medication. It's crazy when your, your adrenaline finally like wears off and it all hits you at one time. You realize like, damn, I busted my ass. Like I really busted my ass. Um, so they did an x-ray, they said, hey, you need to go to an orthopedic for your knee. Um, if, you, if you feel uncomfortable with it, get that looked at. Um, emergency rooms, you know, kind of x-rays. You, you gotta go to a specialist and stuff like that, especially if it's like a sports injury. So I went to the orthopedic that they recommended and whoa, what a bad experience. The doctor comes in and this little old guy, he has like a little gimpy lip. And he's like, hey, well, uh, so, so what makes you want to see me today? I was like, okay, cool, yeah, hi, how you doing? Uh, I came to you because they told me to come to you. <laughs> I'm just trying to find out what's going on my knee. I'm afraid I got a busted ACL, bad MCL, something. I feel like I pulled something. So uh, in his exact words, you may have a torn meniscus and if you feel like in six to eight weeks it's not easy enough come back and we'll do surgery i was like bro okay whatever none of, none of that sounds politically correct but okay so i went ahead and scheduled another appointment for my uh sports orthopedic specialist she did surgery on my knee back in uh i don't remember the year but i was 14 years old uh, when i had a basketball injury went to her she remembered me right off the bat. She remembered my x-rays from the knee. Um, she looked at everything. She said, hey, Donovan, you know, you look fine. Um, I don't see a torn meniscus. Your, your knees look good. Ever since you started cycling, your, your left knee has, whoa. Get go! Woo! I'm childish. Um, so your left knee looks fine. And since I started riding bikes, that's, that's slowed down the process of me possibly needing a knee replacement on my, my other knee. But all that to be said, knee's fine, no torn meniscus. She said, I just had what's called blunt force trauma to the knee, uh, causing a contusion. So not exactly a full break, a full uh, fracture, or anything being torn. Just a closed system, because the knee's a closed system being interrupted. Um, so it's just gotta heal, you know, it's a little stiff. So I've actually been off the bike for three weeks since the accident. I've been told that I can do the trainer, so I don't know if you wanna count that. But today is my first day out. <laughs> it's my first day out. I wanted to see how I felt. Right now I'm on Silver Comet Trail. It's nice, slight, easy, no cars, it's peaceful. Nothing but wilderness, trees, 
And man, it feels good for your mental to be able to just get out and ride your bike. So I'm out here, I'm enjoying it. Sorry this was a long-winded vlog or video, but I feel like I owed it to you guys. I've been gone for a little bit mentally. I was, I was a little off. Uh, I went to the last MTNC. I couldn't ride, but I really wanted to support the team and support the guys and actually be there. Uh, so I went up there and uh, recorded some content. That's gonna be the next video that drops. So y'all stay posted for that. But anyway, man, I appreciate y'all sticking with me through this journey, watching me grow. There's trees, man, look at this. Watching me grow. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. That is the biggest thing. It uh, will really help out the channel. So y'all just show some love. And um, y'all take it easy, man. And also, we're gonna talk about Neil Bro a little bit. Y'all like my kids? About to go with a little purple, purple and go today. They got these little fresh, fresh purple bibs. They got gold bibs. They got brown bibs. I look a little naked in the brown bibs. I'll show you those. It might, it might trick y'all a little bit. I might think I don't have nothing on, but on the bottom, I'll, it's like it's, the, it's almost the same exact chocolate. <laughs> but anyway, man, I appreciate y'all. Y'all stay tuned for more. The channel's gonna grow. I'm not gonna leave y'all hanging. I appreciate y'all. Peace. Thank you.